Here it is, the moment you've all been waiting for, the Harbor Freight Duck Bill Mod. You're going to need a few things. You'll need your duck bill. I got Hunter's Red Duck Bill, part number 221675-2 or 221675-B, about 20 bucks. You'll need a centering cone. I got the Alpha Rider. It was $14. I don't recommend this one. I recommend that you try to find a heavier cone, preferably solid steel. This one's aluminum. I got a couple of general purpose tire irons from Harbor Freight, about eight bucks each. Um, you really need one, you know, without a doubt, but uh like to have two because sometimes you just need another hand. I got about a four foot or five foot piece of two inch tubing, squared. Mine had a couple of ears uh, flange on it already, so I used that. You'll need your tire changer bolted securely. I recommend lag bolts in the concrete. I've seen people use um, a cross tie or a crate. Uh, I've seen on a piece of plywood. Don't do that. Just put you some concrete down. It's not that big a deal. Um, I bought a large centering cone for mine, mostly for my Nissan, and it's not necessary. Most people won't use that, just a small one. For most people, I built my duck mill mod because the best thing I could find was about 250 bucks. I was still going to buy it until I found out it would take six weeks. So to build my bar, I started with a piece of two-inch tubing from a scrap pile. There are three pieces between the bar and the duck bill. I have two pieces of plate steel, and I welded a cut from a U-joint, and I cut it to roughly the same shape as the bottom of the duck bill. The last part, and the part that gave me the most trouble, is the piece of plate steel between the bar and the duck bill. Um, this gives you room to create an offset, and it gives you a, a little room to have um, an angle. A 12 to 15 degree angle, not a 13. Definitely a 12 or 15 degree angle. Um, because you want to be you want to be a little higher than your, your tire on the back side to give you room to... Uh, not be scraping your knuckles or anything. All right, as you can see, the duck head not exactly centered. See, my pole has a couple of bolt holes. I have a plate has a couple of bolt holes, and I have an offset. And the reason I have an offset is because that's what matches the uh, diameter of the wheel. So with with your with your bar centered up against your wheel, you'll need your left side centered on your rim there and your right side centered on your rim there. All right, that's when you know where to drill the two bolt holes. Um, for how your duct bill sets, it, it's, you, you just gotta, you just gotta fit it. You gotta fit the duct bill to your your little piece of plate steel and uh then if you mess up just get a new piece of plate steel but um it, it doesn't need to be centered it needs to be you know to the right of center and uh and that really see i'm doing mostly 16s so with 16s this works well uh, if you're going to be doing 20s you'll want to do this with a 20 and then you can you can drill these where they'll work for most of the 20s. You know, you could go up a couple sizes. You could probably do 22s. You could probably do 18s. Uh, I feel like my 16. Uh, I've already done 15s, and I've already done 17s, but I haven't done 18. Um, the bar that they give you, it puts metal on metal. And and with using this duck bill, uh, this this piece here is what actually touches your rim. And this is a, it's a plastic, I think they called it something else, I think they called it nylon. But anyway, this is the part that touches your rim, and it can't hurt it. Uh, it you can break this, but you can't hurt this with it, not, not usually. And uh, so this is what slides in between the tire and your rim, is this plastic piece. And, and this junk that they gave you, this is guaranteed to ruin a wheel. Uh, this is just steel. 
uh, spring black. I never tried to use it. Uh, I, I know better. Because this and this, here. these are two parts of the same tool. you got to have this to go in between the tire. And the and the duck bill and get that tire, get it to tension, pop that over, and then you can spin this out from under. You just leave sleeve that's where it's at. It, it'll be kind of between the tire and the wheel, and then you just spin this around, and then this will this will fall out. Self-explanatory. So I'll I'll have enough videos posted where uh, we'll all know what we're talking about. But uh, with this piece. From Amazon, and this piece from Harbor Freight. Looks like item 93230. Uh, yeah, this is this is magic. This is awesome, and this is awesome. Don't don't don't. These two go together. These two are two halves of the same tool. They just come from different places. But you gotta have them both.